Welcome. We'll be talking about Chief Justice of India and the impeachment. Now, this has been a contemporary topic, very, very important for your upcoming exam. Uh, the recent impeachment of Deepak Mishra, uh, the Chief Justice of India, was the case, and therefore we have brought this topic uh, in the discussion. Now, the term impeachment was first used in British political system. Impeachment means to basically charge someone for doing something wrong. Now you have various cases of impeachment that have been seen. So far we have seven cases of impeachment against the Chief Justice of India that has been registered. Article 124 talks about removal of Supreme Court judge. However, Article 218 talks about removal of High Court judge. Today we would be focusing only on the Supreme Court for the matter. Now in what case the Supreme Court judge or the Chief Justice could be impeached, it, he or she could be impeached on the charges of proven misbehavior or incapability before the age of retirement death or uh, basically resignation. Now how this impeachment is passed? This impeachment should be supported by the majority of the total members of the house. So it includes both the houses and not less than two third of the members present and voting. So that's the key criteria that we need to understand for the impeachment. Now, how can an impeachment motion be brought into the house? Impeachment motion could be brought into the house only with an acceptance of 100 members of parliament in the case of Lok Sabha and 50 members in the case of Rajya Sabha. Now it could be the ex official uh, chairman of Rajya Sabha or the speaker of Lok Sabha who basically decides and thinks that it should it's important and this impeachment motion should be brought into the house. Once decided, you have a three member committee that's formed. Now who are the members? You have a senior judge from a Supreme Court, Chief Justice of High Court and a distinguished jurist. So these three people comprises the committee. Committee works around uh, finds the charges, the allegations that are there and finally it's decided whether uh, this should be brought into house or not. So once it's brought into house, it should be passed by a special majority. This special majority talks about two third of the members present and voting with less, with not less than half of the strength of the total house. So this two third should be out of or greater than the half of the strength of the total house. So at least half of the strength should be present on the day where you have the, when you have the impeachment motion that has to be brought. Now this should be passed in both the houses and finally it goes to the president for the approval. So ultimately it's president who would finally approve it and issue the order for the removal of the judge. There have been seven cases so far. Deepak Mishra was a recent case in 2018. Before that you had SK Gangali, you had uh, CV Nagarjun Reddy, Somitra Sen. Now all of those had different allegations or different uh, reasons for which they were charged. So you have Dinkar, he was charged on the charges of uh, Dinakaran who was charged on the charges of corruption, uh, Pardiwala who had objectionable remarks on reservation, V. Ramaswamy was the first case of impeachment in India in 1993 and that, therefore it's important he spended uh, exav extravagantly on uh, the renovation of the official home. So those are the allegations or uh, the charges that have been put so far. For the case of Deepak Mishra, there have been five charges that have come up. First is related to the Prasad Educational Trust. The second is related to a writ petition that was sought into for the litigation purposes under the Prasad Education Trust again. The third was he has to be a, a kind of uh, uh, involved in the act of forgery or fabrication and uh, when he was a, uh, advocate, he acquired a land and that orders went on and when uh, he surrendered the land only in 2012 when uh, the Supreme Court, uh, he was elevated to the post in Supreme Court and finally uh, he has abused his administrative authority. So those are the five main charges uh, that were put against Deepak Mishra. So that is a kind of basic scenario or basic framework about the Chief Justice of India impeachment. A very relevant, very burning topic for your upcoming examination. Uh, do know the details and the intricacies properly. We'll be coming up with more topics, more relevant topics for you in the upcoming sessions. Have a great day ahead.